All right, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial video on how to set this stuff up with the PC to play games. A couple people have asked me and it's kind of a process, so here we go. So first thing is you will need two separate Bluetooth adapters. Um, do some research because the software we're going to use called Motion Enjoy requires certain Bluetooth adapters to work. In this case I'm using the ASUS BT211 and this one is just a generic Bluetooth adapter. So we got the PlayStation Navigator and Nintendo Wiimote. This is the original Wiimote. Note it has to be the original one. It can't be like one from the last year. I, I think it needs to be a couple of years old. Um, I'll show you how you can verify that in a sec. And you need to have this little adapter here, this Motion Plus adapter. Okay. And then I guess you can use whatever you want for a gun, but I'm just using this fancy little thing with with Velcro. Got Velcro on the back of that. You just tack it on. Right. Away you go. Now the fun begins. All right. So first thing you do is plug the one Bluetooth adapter in. And then you're going to get that lovely pop-up installing device driver, blah, blah, blah. Just let it do its thing. Still going. Okay. Uh, ready to use. Okay, so I guess now we... Do the second one. This one has a CD, so we're going to do that. So yeah, when I plugged it in, it says no driver found. Because I need this guy. This little guy right here. Plop that in. Oh, we'll just plop that in. There we go. Just installing the software for the second Bluetooth adapter. Okay, so now we have both Bluetooth adapters connected and installed. So we're going to connect the Wiimote. It's pretty easy. Just press 1 and 2. It starts flashing like that. Um, you go up to your computer, look for this little guy here, right click show Bluetooth devices, and you want to add a device, press 1 and 2 on the Wiimote, and you should see input device, it may say Nintendo, blah blah blah, this will work too, this little icon, click next, Select it and click next, and then da, 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 da. make sure the lights are still flashing. It's the first time I'm doing it, so it's a little slow. You click pair without using a code. Make sure the lights are still flashing. It'll say installing device driver Bluetooth hid device installed. Ready to use. Devices. So that code is the only type of Wiimote that will work with the software we're going to use. Look for that. That means your Wiimote is set up. If it's flashing, it's good. So the next thing is the PlayStation Navigator. To get it installed, we plug it in with a mini USB to USB cable. Plug that into the computer. Again, we get our favorite little pop-up. Blah, blah, blah. USB input device. Okay, cool. So, now it gets fun. 
So you need to find this software on the internet called Motion Enjoy. You can just find it with a Google search and then I'm going to want to run it. It takes a sec to open up. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the driver tab. Okay, and we're going to see these two things here. They have X's next to them. I'm just going to highlight them and click install all. Okay, install. And then it's going to do its thing down there. There we go. Okay, and it's installing, um, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Just let it install its stuff. You have to wait for this to finish. Cool, this is the most exciting part of the video. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. What's the next step? Alright, so yeah, it gets a little bit tricky here, but just follow these steps and you should have no problems. So you want to leave that software Motion Enjoy open and disconnect the adapter you're using. Okay, close the software now. And reconnect your adapter. Go up to your computer, right click on computer and go to manage, and then go to device manager. Look for a Microsoft Common Controller for Windows. You should see this. Right click on, I think the bottom one, uh, go to the driver tab, update driver, browse my computer. Let me pick from a list of device drivers. And you should see this. Atheros Valkyrie Boot ROM. If you don't see that, choose the other uh, device, the other Motion Joy device listed there, and this should be there. So just highlight that and click Next. It'll say Installing Device Driver, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Good. Close. That's good. And now we go back to our software motion enjoy. So back in our software, I still have my controller plugged in. You can see if I go to profiles, it says the controller's there, but obviously it's not going to work um, wireless like this. So go to the Bluetooth pair, because now we want to pair it with our adapter and you should see this feature supports feature that means you're good to go basically all we want to do is click the pair now button okay good so if we go back to profiles I'm gonna try unplugging this guy the lights gonna flash we saw it came back on And this is dual shock six axis. Whoa, six axis, not six asses. <clears throat> Controller. And then we're going to go to uh, X input. So it's emulating an Xbox 360 controller. You want to always have that selected and hit enable. Okay. And you can go to your game controller panel. You'll see that there properties of it and if you see she's working good so basically your games will detect this as an Xbox controller you can just map it like normal yeah so forgot to mention one thing um, about connecting the Wiimote after you get it flashing here oh just, um, trying to okay after you connect it um, to Windows with this little this little guy here, 
you know, after you do that little process I showed you earlier. And splashing, you're going to want to open up um, free pie, free pie or glove pie. In this case, I'm using glove pie free. So open that up, and in my description, I have a uh, link to this script. So you're going to load that script, Wiimote gun script. Lights are flashing. Watch what I do. I hit run, stop, run. And the lights change. You can see him going through its thing. I don't have any speakers plugged in, but if I did, it would make a weird voice. I'd say calibrating. It's calibrating. And when it's connected, it's just a solid light, and you can see now that the Wiimote is controlling the mouse cursor. And it's extremely smooth and responsive. Um, so basically that's what translates to controlling your gun in the game, right? Uh, make sure it's on a level ground when you calibrate it. Otherwise it could be off. And yeah. I don't know why you have to press run, stop, run, but for me that's what I had to do. Okay, so yeah, that was the process. Um, in the future, all you have to do after you get this set up is just hit this PS button here, open the software and hit the button and it'll connect automatically and away you go. Um, don't forget to hit that enable button or your game may not detect the Xbox controller. Um, yeah, this guy's kind of a bugger to connect. Sometimes the Windows drivers don't work that well. Just keep trying. Uh, maybe keep your adapters away from each other if you have to, to get things like interference out of the way. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully that does it. Good luck.